Hey, I'm Rutledge, and welcome to the State of Tech Raptor. For those of you that don't know, the State of Tech Raptor is my monthly video series in which I'll talk about our previous month, March, um, as well as fill you in on what we've got planned for our upcoming month, which in this case is April 2015. So as always, I'm going to start out with the statistics. Um, March was a drop month for us, which usually January and February are the drop months, um, at least they have been for the last couple years. Um, Basically, what that means is after the holidays, traffic drops, um, but we ma managed to keep the pace going afterwards, uh, hitting 424,000 page views in February. But uh, March, we had 231,000 page views over 232 posts. Um, so it's about a 200,000 page view difference. Um, again, we did have the Alistair interviews last month, which really spiked things up big. So not really a huge deal. We're still on a growth trajectory. Um, we're not going anywhere. We're not giving up. Um, we're going to continue to push out tons and tons of content. Um, so for those of you that read us every day, thank you so much. Your continued support continues to help us grow. So thank you. Um, for social media, we gained 586 followers. We gained 161 likes on Facebook. And we gained 131 subscribers on YouTube. Um, and we're going to continue pushing content on YouTube. I'm working on my own series, uh, potentially, uh, once we work out the details. Uh, and we've got a couple other people who are looking at trying to do some monthly series and or some really, really in-depth and interesting series that I really want to share with you once we get the details done. But right now, I can't do that. Um, so stay tuned to future episodes, and we'll definitely have more for you. We had a ton of editorials this month um, that were just awesome, awesome, awesome. And I apologize for reading from my laptop, but there were just so many um, that I couldn't fit them on a piece of paper in front of me. Um, so one of the first ones we had was called Defy the Games Industry. And that was written by Wyatt, where he basically talked criticism, Jonathan Blow, and dividing the game industry. After that, Todd Wolling uh, wrote the Kern Petition, Sign at Your Own Risk. Um, where he talked about the pros and cons of the Kern petition, and I highly recommend checking that out. The next one is by our very own Georgina, um, and we know everybody loves Georgina, but uh, this was a solid piece that everybody should check out. It's very, very good. It's called New Designs Are Great, Proper Personalities Are Key. Um, and she took a look back examining character designs and content and you know what really makes a character good versus not necessarily the best. Um, after that, Max wrote a post called Video Games Do Not Need the Approval of Old Media. Basically, the premise of that is that video games are already more popular than the dying old media outlets. Kind of us included, but we're trying to merge into a newer media. Um, and I highly recommend reading it. I mean, it's a very well-written post. Definitely check it out. The next one, uh, Todd Wolling, again, wrote, We Can Fix Video Games, um, in which he takes a look at, you know, how video games are broken, I guess you'd say, um, and, and what we can do to fix them. Uh, another one worth checking out. Followed up with, Why Can't Link Be a Girl, by Anthony Lee. Um, could a Legend of Zelda title featuring a female Link or lead female in general work? Um, so he kind of took a look at how things work with, you know, Zelda and Link and some of the characters in that universe as well as what would make a good female lead character in The Legend of Zelda. Um, so check that one out. The next one was uh, Stop Complaining About Gamer Entitlement, and that was written by Wyatt. Um, basically, he talked about gamer entitlement and why games media needs to stop banging on it. Because there was a couple instances in March in which uh, gamer entitlement was kind of uh, bashed on by the media. And uh, he, he wanted to write a counter to that, and it was very popular. So if you haven't read it, definitely check it out. He followed up with another post called Trends, Greed, and the Gaming Industry. Um, where he took a look at industry, industry trends and why all the things you hate aren't going anywhere without any action. 
Um, definitely check that out. Great post. Um, the final post that was an editorial was why I don't like turning male characters into women. And that was written by Brian, uh, in which his premise was female Link or Thor. Um, how about a female character who is interesting on her own? Now this was a really good post and a lot of people commented, and I mean a lot, um, in which he took a look at, instead of taking male characters and turning them into females, um, why it's more advantageous to create new female leads. Um, with their own stories, their own personalities, and uh, great post. Pretty much everybody at Tech Raptor is on board with it. It's awesome. So definitely check those posts out. I'll link a couple more to the right here as well. Um, we just have a ton of content. Um, I want to follow up that uh, and talk about a couple more things that happened in March. First of all, Patreon. We lost a couple patrons, so you'll see that our number has dipped. Um, we did lose our $100 Retro Raptor tier um, patron, in which we would do a retro review every month um, of their choice. Uh, and we did Road Rash for them. So no issue with people dropping out at all. Thank you for your support, whatever you can give. Even a dollar helps us out. That is monumental in helping us get more followers. Um, because we do reinvest everything back into the site, into advertising. One dollar generally equals, I want to say, between four and seven new followers on Twitter and like two to four on Facebook. So um, thank you for everyone who's donating to us. It really makes a huge difference in our growth. Um, we bought a new domain, um, and I'm kind of proud of this one, to be honest, because it took a lot of searching to find one. You see a lot of shorteners, um, a couple sites have tribe.all, T-R-I-B.A-L, um, or uh, Cernovich has gorillas, and uh, there's a couple other people that have really cool shortened links, and we wanted to find one of our own. We looked at techraptor.link, raptor.link, etc., etc. I ended up buying a Serbian domain, um, which, to be honest, was very difficult to do. Um, had to jump through some hoops, but uh, we bought rapto.rs, so it spells out raptors, um, and we're having fun with this. We're using it to link uh, special things to staff, or if we want to do customized links that people can share regularly, um, that's what we're using it for. We have had some issues setting up our link shortener, um, and we're working on trying to resolve that because for whatever reason, it, every time we would post a post, it would post the previous link as that post's link. Um, so people were getting super confused. But uh, hopefully we'll get that fixed in the next month or so. We're going to keep doing the Q&A streams. Uh, our last one was a lot of fun, as it always is. So we fell a bit behind at the end of the month. We're going to aim for the middle of the month again this month. So definitely check it out. And the final thing I want to talk about is March 14th was our second birthday. Um, and a lot of people are saying that, you know, we haven't been around that long or we started because of Gamergate or we started because of this or, you know, we're still a young site. We're two years old. We're breaking 200,000 page views a month, which is beyond my wildest dreams at this point. Um, I, I didn't think we'd be here, but, uh, you know, it's, it's incredible. We're so happy to be serving all of our readers and changing every day to be a better site. I'll say this, we don't necessarily call ourselves professionals. Um, we're still very much amateurs and we're learning every day how we can become better journalists and work harder to show off how much we care about what we're writing about. So uh, it's great to have everybody on this journey and uh, I'm just, I'm really, really, really happy with our second birthday. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got coming for April, and there's really not that much um, going on. It's been, you know, early years, usually pretty quiet, and we have a lot of things going on in the background. Um, one of which is our ethics policy. We are completely revamping our ethics policy, and at this point it is complete. Um, I am now reaching out to people outside of TechRaptor to take a look at it. Um, and work with us to make it even better. So uh, stay tuned for that. It'll be there will be a lot of fanfare around it because it is 
vastly superior to the one that we have now. Um, make sure you keep checking out our Twitch page as well. Um, this month we'll be doing National Tabletop Day on April 11th. Um, essentially, we're going to play tabletop games for like five or six hours using Tabletop Simulator. And we did it the other day and played some XCOM, and it's, it's a lot of fun. We are probably going to be drinking a little, having some fun. So definitely come check us out on Twitch. Tannis is in charge of that, um, and we have a, a number of people who are streaming regularly. So definitely check it out. We are also becoming a, a, a GOG affiliate this month. Um, so you'll see more links from us to them. Uh, definitely check those out. Please use our links. Every purchase through that particular link really helps us out. Um, and then finally, our t-shirt shop. Um, this has been something we've been trying to really work on, and I think we may have found a good place to do it. Um, however, the downside is there is a $250 um, startup cost, at which point the t-shirts will be cheaper than other places because... A lot of the places we're looking at, the t-shirts are like $20, $25 once we get our design in. And it, this is even on basic shirts. So our goal is really making this as affordable for our followers as possible, um, as well as having some really awesome designs that we have ready for you. So um, stay tuned. I'm really hoping that we can get these t-shirts ready and in a shop by the end of quarter two of 2015, so by July. Um, we'll be probably printing our own for now, uh, because we are going to a couple conventions this year before July, um, so that's a pretty big deal. This was probably one of the more quiet months that we've had in the last six or seven months, but, uh, we're really excited to be here. We're excited to be creating content, interacting with all of you, because you're all awesome, and it's just, I'm excited to be here. My staff is excited. We love doing what we're doing, and we're going to continue to stay around no matter what anyone says about us, no matter what anybody tries to do to us. We're going to keep pushing through. Um, so definitely stay tuned for next month's Stay the Tech Raptor, and stay tuned to our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. We're going to have a lot going on over the next couple months. So thanks for joining me.